Hello and welcome to Makam Lessons. Today we're doing Makam Sika. First we're going to go over some of the melodic vocabulary of the Makam uh, through call and response phrases. Then we're going to go over the overall structure of the Makam. We'll look at the chart. We'll analyze a few songs using this Makam and we will also discuss the issue of Makam family. Makam Sika is in the Makam Sika family, but it is not the main Makam of that family, which is Makam Hosam. That was in the previous lesson that we did. So we'll discuss about the relationship between Makam Sika and Makam Hosam. So that's what we're going to deal with in this lesson. So let's uh, get started. This is our tonic. Just as a reminder of what a tonic is, the tonic is the note of resolution of a Makam. Uh, or of a mode, we're borrowing the Western word. Uh, so let's sing this note for a moment. Uh, and if I were to end a phrase like this, you would want to hear this resolve up to there. Or if I do this, This node wanting to resolve down. So this is R1, and uh, later on I'll use numbers. But I want you to pay attention to this note. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six. See if you can remember this note. Six, five, four, three. Okay, so I'm going to start by singing phrases, and I want you to copy me on the second repeat of each phrase. If you're an instrumentalist, sing through this lesson before you play it on your instrument. Uh, and as always, I recommend, you know, stop as many times as you like, repeat each phrase more than uh, once. Uh, you'll benefit by doing it over and over again. Stop the video if you like. Um, but if there's a particular phrase that's a little bit difficult, I recommend trying it without breaking the flow. Uh, melodic rhythm is very important to understanding these phrases because it's not just what notes we use, it's also the, the way that they move to each other. It's the melodies that make up the makam, not the notes. So repeat on the second repeat of each phrase. Yeah. 
So I've gone through most of the main parts of the maqam without naming them. We're going to name them next. Before I do so, I want to give a big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Um, in order to make these lessons available for free on YouTube, I've been asking for support on Patreon. And uh, I have a bunch of people who are now supporting me on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Uh, I really appreciate the support. And if you are out there benefiting from these videos and can afford a small monthly contribution, please consider becoming one of my Patreon supporters via the link in the description below. Uh, you will also find, if you become a Patreon supporter, that I offer additional practice lessons in different keys of the same Makamat and Ejnas that we uh, cover in these lessons as an added benefit. So, let us look at the chart and go over Makam Sika and Makam Mustaar. That's the other thing I mentioned. So, I'll discuss uh, what that means. For right now, I'm presenting Makam Sika and Mustaar together as one entity. Uh, and we'll see what that means. So, this is my chart of the Ejnas that are covered in the Makam. And I'm going to do what I typically do, which is use my finger to point to the different uh, Ejnas as we go through them. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to repeat call and response fashion and go through the different sections of the Makam. So let me just uh, put the violin back. So um, one of the things about these charts, uh, and if you've been watching these lessons, you've seen a bunch of them, is that I tend to put the, the starting Ejnas at the top of the chart and the most common Ejnas in the Makam towards the top and the less common towards the bottom. So although I started here when we, when we first started, I'm gonna start kind of in this whole area because this is the main area of the Makam. Yanin, 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 Yanin. So this is our tonic one. Let's count up one, two, three. And on three, we start to see other Ejnas happen. Three, four, five, six. And you can hear that six is a new tonic. Yenin. Yenin. This is the upper half of Makam Rust, what we call Jint's upper rust, and you can check out the lesson on that. And if we go above this six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, we have rust on six, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, answered by rust and six in the lower octave. Six, 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 seven, eight, eight is the same as one. Just like do is the same as do, and we go do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a very strong rust on six. Yelene, 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 Yelene. Back to the Sika. We're going to that fifth scale degree, which uh, I recorded a separate lesson for that as a gents. One, two, three, four, five. 
يلين يلين يا يلين يا يلين يا يلين يا يلين so you can see how the five leads up to the six tonic of the rust five four five six five four five six you can see how the four is also slightly raised as it is compared with this gents so in this gents we have six five four three three four five six but in this gents we have three four five six six five four five six five four five one two three two one six five four five five six seven six five five six seven eight and we have seek on eight seek 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 ah ah yelling yelling Rust, 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 upper rust. Rust, upper rust, Nahawand, Nahawand, Yelin, Yelin. We tasted Hijaz there. Yeah, yeah, Yelin. Yelin, 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 Hijaz Sika. You notice here that the Hijaz was just tasted at the end, but we still used it. In Maqam Huzam, which we're going to compare, Hijaz is very prominent. Here, the rust is the most prominent thing. You notice we spent a lot of time in this rust gents up at the top. We also spent a lot of time in this upper rust gents and playing with this fifth and sixth scale degree. We had a little bit of Sika on the octave, but rust was very dominant here. Now I'm going to go and use the Musta'ar pathway, and then we'll mix it with the Sika pathway. And we'll see that Musta'ar and Sika are really very linked. Let me just make sure I'm in the good key. We're doing this in Sika on A half flat, Rust on F, which means we're getting Nahawand on C, like C minor, Hijaz on C, upper Rust between C leading up to the F tonic for the Rust. Yelin, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mustar, see, 
Sika, Sika. Mustar Nahawan, Mustar Nahawan. Yanin, 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 See, in that last phrase I did, we came down from this fifth scale degree emphasis with the raised fourth. Five, four, three, and then four, three, four, sorry, four, five, four, three. Let me do that again. Five, four, three, three, four, five. See how the raised four? Three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three in Nahawand. And then I did the raise two of Mostar, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, six, five, four, five, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, one. We can go back to Sika or Mostar. They really are interchangeable. And you see we're going through these same pathways. I could choose either one. And if I'm in Mostar, I can do the same thing I was doing before, really emphasizing that upper rust jins. Yanin, 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 yanin. Yanin, 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 Rust, Yanin, 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 Yanin. So I did rust upper rust and then mustar same phrase i could do yanin 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 So there we use the fifth scale degree, playing with the fifth scale degree in the Nahawand. It's similar to playing with upper rust in Nahawand. And then I tasted the Mostar, uh, but then came down and resolved in the Sika. So really either one of these Ejnas can be the resolution point. Um, and in the very few examples that we have of this as a, as a Makam, and I'll explain what I mean by very few, really it's sort of interchangeable. That's why I put these both together in this lesson. Um, when you are in are in Maqam Sika, you're going to hear Mustar a lot. And Maqam Mustar as a standalone Maqam barely exists. Uh, and again, I will explain that later. Now, I didn't really touch what's down here. I'm going to touch this now on on six because we're going to see it in one of our examples. Yanin, 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 Yanin. It, it's barely it's tonicizing this now one on six, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five. We're still leaning towards that five. What I've heard in the very few examples, 
um, is when you really tonicize the six, you're using the rust. But you can have this taste of this Nahawand. Of course, the taste of Nahawand is related to the Hejaz. Using the fifth scale degree, na 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 ha one fifth scale degree going down to five, four flat four of hijaz three three, and then I could go three two three four five four three two one. Really playing among all of these different eshnas. Now. Uh, the first point that I want to make about this makam is that it is really related to makam rust and specifically makam kirdan. So if you took the lesson in makam kirdan, I'm going to sing for you an example in, in makam kirdan. So if I were really in this rust on six and this was my tonic of the rust, hayran ali, ah, بين الألوب خليت قلبي راح يدوب حيران لي نهوان هجاء نهوان حيران لي هجاز five four three resolving down to the rust. So I was using this chart to show you Hairan Ale, but let me show you the actual um, chart for Makam Kirdan, and we can see them side by side. This is the chart for Kirdan. Hairan Ali, ah, eight seven six, Hairan Ali, ah, Nahawan, Rust, 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 rust. But if I end on the three of rust, I'm back to this chart of Sika. Yalin, Yalin. That's Huzam pathway using the Hijaz. So the similarity, let me just sort of see if I can make these appear side by side so you can see them so the similarity here is really this rust in both places the upper rust the nahawand the hijaz and the rust down here all in the same relationship to each other rust 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 you see rust 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 and then upper rust nahawand hijaz upper rust nahawand hijaz so this pathway of descending from the octave of rust down, because Kirdan is the version of rust that descends from the octave, right? Hairan Ali, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing with Yashadil El Khan A Esmana Ranatalaidan Yalanli Nahawand A Hijaz Hijaz A so Kirdan is the version of rust that descends and Makam Sika really has this same network embedded within it. So that brings us to why are we calling this Makam Sika? Makam Sika, Sika means third note in uh, Persian and uh, the in Farsi and the Basically, Arabic music theory was developed by Arabs, by Persians, by Turks over the last several hundred years. 
So there is an, a history of this influence of certain names are taken from uh, from from Persian. Uh, and when you see ka at the end of something, that's the word that means note. So sika or sega, as they would say it in Persian. And you'll hear Arabs say call this maqam siga or sika, either way. Um, uh, you might hear duka, yeka, those are also names. Jiharka is another one we're going to talk about that means fourth note, jiharka. Uh, anyway, so sika is specifically the third note of rust in Arabic music theory. So you can see this is on this third note. The sika is on the third note. And basically what this means in terms of this maqam is that it's like everything you have in rust but instead starting on its third scale degree, tonicizing its third scale degree, rather than the, the root of rust. So that's the relationship between makam sika and makam rust. And everything in here, you can get in rust. Now we're gonna go back and, and do makam rust again. My earlier lessons on makam rust didn't include jint sika on the third, because we hadn't covered that jint yet. So we're gonna go back and do a more full exploration of makam rust but we could easily put a Jin Sika on three in this chart, and then it would look like exactly the same chart, just with a slightly different ordering of things. But I want you to get that feeling, and I'm going to, let's sing it again, that feeling of the rust is very strong on the, the sixth scale degree, and it descends instead of to the, the, sometimes it does descend all the way down to the rust at the bottom under the Sika, but the final note is the Sika instead of the rust, right? So if I'm, let me just play it for you so you hear it for a moment. Give my voice a rest. Give our voices a rest. If we're rust here. When I ended here, it was as though I ended in rust. Ending in the rust, but the final note is actually the C. Let's sing some phrases to, to illustrate that. And again, this lower jint's rust can appear within the maqam. That was Nahawan coming down. We're starting from the six, five, four, three. Nahawan, Nahawan. drawn back to the rust on this note. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can feel that almost in some ways this rust tonic on six might feel like a stronger tonic than the actual C tonic. And you might even catch me using the hijaz to get back to the C tonic because the hijaz is associated with Huzam. I'll talk about that in a moment. But before I continue, I want to uh, share with you a uh, really common example of this Sika pathway, um, but as it occurs in an overall song in Makam Hazam. And we already covered this song um, in the previous lesson on Makam Hazam. It is the famous song, uh, El Wagdi Gamil. In the third and the fourth verses, we have this very strong emphasis on rust. So I'm going to go through that. Third 
third verse. Ya kulli ya ruh, ya ruh in ruh, min shammi hawaq, umru ma yinsaq. So this is rust. Six. Ya kulli ya ruh, ya ruh in ruh, min shammi hawaq, أُمْرُ مَا مِنْ شَمِّ هَوَاك أُمْرُ مَا يَنْسَاك Six, five. You notice that fifth scale degree. And then so there we get back to Hijaz. Three, six, five, six. Hijaz, 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 A real Hijaz. So this verse goes back to the Huzam. It goes back to the emphasis on the um, on the Hijaz. Shufi zuhur wa ta'alim wa ta'alim bin al-habayib ta'araf tidkalim Nahawan Hijaz Shuf, shuf, shuf Shufi zuhur wa zuhur yafsika Hijaz and then the top of C couch. So we got the emphasis on Jint's rust at the beginning of the, this verse. But it didn't resolve down very much via the Sika pathway. The only thing we would say this is Makam Sika is because we have a strong emphasis on rust. But if we go to the fourth verse, we're going to see even more of this Sika being developed. So the fourth verse. comes down in the upper rust. Ah, right, yeah. Uh, the melodies we were doing in Makam Sika. Yeah, yeah, so upper rust, upper rust, upper rust, now on Taste of Hijaz, just this flat four, three, four. Down to the rust underneath the Sika tonic. So we actually came down in this Makam Kiradam. It starts as Sika and it resolves down to the lower rust tonic. Ah, the rust octave. Upper rust, upper rust, nahawan, nahawan, pejaz, rust, 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 and then to get back to the main melody we get the hijaz hijaz 
Let's go to great is dance o door ve shuf zohor we talim we talim bin el habayb titkalim shuf shuf So we did that song already, and the point that this illustrates that we'll discuss a little bit more in a bit is that Sika is a major pathway, Maqam Sika is a major pathway within Maqam Hosea. And we spent enough time there to really um, feel that we were in the rust, really tonicize the rust in both of those verses, and use the full uh, Maqam of rust in that final verse that also uses the little bit of Nahawand on the way down. If I were to, I'm going to do something um, just to sort of illustrate this pathway. I'm going to combine the third and the fourth verse. Um, you know, if I were improvising on the song, I might do that just so that we can illustrate the full um, Sika pathway. <laughs> Omaru mayin sak six rust. If only a roh, a roh, a roh. Min shemmi hawak. Omaru mayin sak. Shuf ul yasmin gamil nasan. And I skipped the Hosam part. So that is Sika within Maqam Hosam. Uh, another great example of that is another song that we did um, again uh, in the Hosam lesson, but it's worth emphasizing. The Moshah from Syria, Jadakal Qaitu. And we know it's in Hosem because we have the Fifth scale degree. And then the third line of poetry jumps up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have six, five, four, five, six. This is upper rust. Leading from three, four, five, six. And then the other part. Rust six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six. So we have a very clear rust on six. And if a vocalist is going to improvise here, they're going to spend a lot of time in the rust on six. And I've heard vocalists, including Sabah Fakri, do this. Yeah, 
what I did there was Jints Jiharka. So, I know we're, these are advanced lessons now. Makam Sika is advanced. So if this is a, a lot for you, I encourage you to go back <laughs> to earlier lessons. Um, and I'm making it more advanced than this chart. Because this is something we're going to discover as we continue. Once we get to this rust, it's not that we really have to use only the things in this chart. This chart is the chart for Makam Sika. But once you get to rust, you can use the full chart from Makam Rust, especially if you spend a lot of time there. And rust easily moves to Jiharka. We're going to see that in the upcoming lessons on Makam Delanchin and the larger lessons of, of Makam Rust. But rust moving to Jiharka on its octave is a super common thing to happen. So when we have rust here, Yeah, rust, rust. We can move to Jiharka, Jiharka, Jiharka. So let's sing a little bit. I'm going to jump from the Moshe back to singing in, in Yalil. Uh, so we can sing, and I want us to return to this Makam Sika, but we're going to throw in this taste of Jiharka to intensify the rust. So here we are. Yelin, 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 Yelin. Jiharka, yeah, Alin, yeah, yeah, So there we used Jiharka Yanin Yanin and then Ras Nahawan Si Mustar Sika. So the, the the eight is slightly raised here. Six, seven, eight, as opposed to eight. You don't want to sing them side by side. Uh, but you can see how they connect, and the reason they connect, and they may not connect for you right now, but the reason they connect is because experienced musicians and listeners have this expectation of jiharka within the context of rust. You're going to hear that jiharka over and over again, and then you start to expect it. So then you get to the rust part, and you're really spending a lot of time in rust on the sixth scale degree of, of Makam Sika, and then suddenly you you have this uh, this modulation to Jiharka. And then you come back to Rust and then you resolve it to Sika. Okay, so I'm going to give you one more example from a muasha. Um, actually, I'll, I'll give you a couple more examples before we get to a makam mustar in isolation. Um, and we're going to talk about the relationship of Sika to Huzam also. So another example from another muasha from the same wasla 
the same Wasla Huzam uh, of Jadak al Gaito is Eyu Hasaka, one of my favorites. It's, uh, oh, wine bearer, bring me a glass. My friends are all drunk, I'm having a good time. <laughs> أيها الساقي جاز إليك المشتكى أي سيك أيها الساقي إليك المشتكى فت سكيل دقري قدوناك Ilam tasmai three ya la lil ya la la ya la la li. So far, everything is in Huzam. Sika hijaz fifth scale degree hijaz. Now, the second part of the song goes to this triplet rhythm. Still Hosan. And then we go upper rust. Three, six, five, four, five. You see that raised four? That's upper rust. Sika. So we have the Sika uh, pathway occurring in the middle of this uh, Makam Hosam. Back to Hijaz. And another great example, um, this is one of my favorites, uh, a Leila Murad song called Aktiblak Gawabat. It's not tremendously well known. And this uses even more of the Sika by using the Nahawand on three. So let's hear this song. Uh, and all of these are on my, my playlist, by the way. I'm going to show them to you. Rust, right? Starting with Rust. So we have rust. Ending on the sika. Right. And then we get to Nahawand. Sika Naha one three four five four three three four five six five four three. What will got a three to one Manish Rasi Tata Tata Maradish Naha one lay 
لازم نسي back to Hijaz لازم نسي وقتم So, so far, this is the chorus part. We had more Nahawan than Hijaz, but we still ended with the Hijaz. So, we would say, okay, uh, this is a form of Huzam that really emphasizes the Nahawan, um, really dwells on it. So, it's a little bit different than a typical uh, Huzam. We, didn't, we don't really see that Nahawan in isolation very much. But we'll go to the next verse to really see how much stronger the Sika is in that next verse. And it sounds like rust. Ah, 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 ah. Six. One. So the first phrase on the vocals is in Sika. One, two, three, two, one. And then the instrumental resolves down to the rust. Six. One, two, three, two, one, seven, six. Malish Samir Al-Gharamak Hijaz Aish Farid Fi Wahdeti Malish Samir Al-Gharamak Hijaz going up to six. Two, three, four, five, six. Hijaz, but leading up to the six. Landing on the Sika. Six, eight. And then we have the real uh, Sika pathway. Six, five, four, the raised four. Gefen in nom wintanesini. Wab amaz lum wit pankini. Gefen in nom wintanesini. Wab amaz lum wit pankini. That's Seven, six, five, four, three, the upper rust part. Wa ulgara e nahawan sika manish rasi maradish li lazim nasi. So we had gefen in no upper rust. Uh, so that is the upper rust and then the hawan. That's the same that we have here. Upper rust, gefen. Uh, the phrase actually started with the instrumental tam 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 tam. Ah, gefen in no muntanesini ta 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 ta. Wab a mazlum with pekini taratata wa ulgara e manishra sitatatatam maradishli lazim nasi ah hijaz lazim nasi waktib. Okay. Now I want to talk for a moment about the rarity and the commonness of this maqam and understanding what is a uh, what is a, a branch family. So let's now look at and compare these two charts. This is maqam Hosan that we did in the previous lesson. You can check out that lesson. I recommend reviewing it again. And this is maqam Sika that we're doing in this lesson. What is similar? What is different? 
Sika is there. Upper Rust is there. Rust is there. The Jazz is here in Makam Hosam and here in Makam Sika. Nahawand is here in Makam Sika and there in Makam Hosam. We have the option of Mustara, right? We have the Rust at the bottom. Everything in the Makam Sika chart exists in the Makam Hosam chart. However, the emphasis is different. The Hijaz in Makam Sika is just tasted. We just get this little flavor of Hijaz. Whereas the Hijaz is the main secondary gents in Makam Hosam. The rust is really the emphasis, and this upper rust gents is super strong in Makam Sika, everything we've been doing in this lesson, but it still exists in Makam Hosam. And rust is still an important place to go in Makam Hosam. So are these Makamat really different? Well, uh, traditional theory would say Makam Hosam is just when we have Sika, uh, Hijaz, Rust, and uh, Makam Sika is Sika, Upper Rust, Rust. Actually, traditional theory calls this Rust on three, which is not true. Uh, we never heard any Rust on three. We just heard uh, leading up to the six. But if you represent it as just a scale, and we call Sika, where's my band? The Mima Sinkigu. Yeah, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, for Makam Hazam. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, for Sika. If you just think that it's a scale and that's all the Makam is, then they're different. But if you see in the repertory examples that we're using this network where we're going among the different ones, then it's actually harder to make the distinction between the two, except that we clearly see that in some cases we spend a lot more time on this emphasis and we use this pathway. So I've been using this word pathway. Uh, and the, the Arabic word and the Maqam theory word is the word sayr. So a pathway is like... It's not just, do we start at the top or do we start at the bottom? It's, am I using this pathway from Rust to Nahawand and Upper Rust down to Sika? Or am I going this way, Rust and down to Hijaz and down to Sika? So the Seir is like one of the pathways within the Maqam. That's how I'm conceptualizing Seir. The Maqam is bigger than the Seir, but the Seir are a particular pathway. So we can say that there's a Sika Seir that involves these Ajnas. And we could say that there's a Huzam Sayer that involves this gents, but we still use these. So that is really the difference that I see in the repertory that exists. Now, adding one more complication to this fact, and I'm gonna show you my, um, show you my, uh, what is it? my playlist on YouTube. So if you go to my channel, you're going to see, um, hopefully we can get that shown, right? So if you go, you're on my channel already because you're watching this video, go to the playlist on my channel and you'll see Makam, Hosam, Sika, Family, Bastenikar. Bastenikar is another family member. And um, you'll get to see a bunch of these examples that we've done. Um, right now, as of now, uh, the Leila Murad Aktiblika Gawibat is the last one there. You can see it. It's written in Arabic. And before that are two examples of Moshehet in Maqam Sika. These are the only two songs that I've been able to find that are really in Maqam Sika as a Maqam in and of itself. And I'm not familiar with them. They're both in this uh, book, Min Kunuzina, which is a book of Moshehet from Aleppo that is not, uh, it doesn't have every Moshe ever composed, but it is very comprehensive. It has um, many of the Moshe hat. It means min our, uh, from our treasures. And there are three Moshe hat in uh, Makam Sika, in what's called a Wasla Sika. Uh, Garam is one of them. Um, 
Ya Mu'ayir al Ghusn is another one. And um, another one is, what's the third one here? And the other one is Ya yeah, Shakna Bifu'adi. Now, I could find two of them on YouTube. Ya yeah, Shakna Bifu'adi, I found, but it's not in Sika on YouTube. The example is a different melody than what is here. It is uh, in Hijazkar. So I only found two on YouTube. And, and these are more shahat that I've never heard before. In, uh, now, I've only been doing Arabic music for 23 years, but none of my teachers ever performed them. Um, I've never heard recordings, and I was lucky to find these two recordings. So they are here. If you wanna, and, and the reason I'm showing you my playlist, rather than just telling you to go, is for the non-Arabic readers. So this one uh, here, and I'm not going to play them for you because I don't want to do copyright. This is uh, Muhayi Gharam. Okay, that second to last one. And the one before that is um, is the one that's called Ya um, Mu'ayir al Ghusn. And both of these, I encourage you to listen to them. You will hear this Sika pathway, but you're still going to hear the taste of, of Hosam, of Hijaz. You're going to hear a little bit of Musta'ar. Um, but I, I don't know any Egyptian songs. So those are both from uh, Aleppo, although actually one of them might be composed by um, Sayyid Darwish. So it might be Egyptian. But I haven't heard any um, Taktukas, meaning, meaning sort of uh, verse refrain songs, or any Umkuthum long songs that are predominantly in Sika. But the Sika pathway is very common in songs in Maqam Hosam. So, for example, uh, Zakaria Ahmed's Dor in Tafahim is in Hosam because it ends in Hosam, but there's a lot of Sika and Musta'ar at the opening. So, Sika and Musta'ar, this is what I referred to earlier, is both very common and very rare. It is extraordinarily rare as its main as the main part of the maqam, where you really, that's it. It's Sika, not Huzam. But it is extraordinarily common in maqam Huzam compositions. So it, it gives a complication to this idea of a maqam family, that we have a separate maqam Sika and a separate maqam Huzam. When everything in maqam Huzam, I just gave you a bunch of examples um, of the songs that we used as examples for maqam Huzam, and that's where we heard the Sika pathway was in those songs. So in songs in, in Hosam, you want to listen for that Sika pathway. Um, that's really where you're going to hear it. If you are a specialist in Moshahat and you learn these songs, which I have not learned, so I'm not going to try them for you. If you love them and you listen to them, um, then you can bring back Makam Sika as its separate Makam. But in practice, from what I've heard from other musicians, as I said, my own teachers, the musicians I've worked with over the years, Sika doesn't exist as a separate maqam. It's a pathway within maqam Hazem. The same is true of Musta'ar. And we found one song that ends in Musta'ar all the time and is worth calling maqam Musta'ar or maqam Sika. And that's going to be my final example for you. The Dulab actually starts in Sika. <laughs> That's the one, the tonic. Same tonic we've been using the whole time. One, two, three, four, five. Starts with this five. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Doesn't use the mustar in the dulab. The dulab, by the way, uh, for those of you who don't know, is the name of the opening instrumental. Ah, 
تحبها وتحبيني سر الغرام لم ينحكي سر الغرام لم ينحكي نار فينا نتشتم نار فينا تشتم دعيت علينا نشتكي حرموها مني حرموها Okay, so that's the full melody of the song. Now let me break it down for you. This is a song called Haramuha Minni, sung by um, Fathiya Ahmed, um, uh, Zakaria Ahmed's sister. Uh, her voice sounds a lot like Um Kulthum. She was an amazing singer, but she's sort of been overshadowed by Um Kulthum and others. She never did any really popular songs. She did these very, um, uh, a lot of heavy, serious songs. Um, so uh, if you don't know her, I highly recommend uh, looking her up. But you're not going to find this song on YouTube, or at least I couldn't. Maybe someone will upload it to YouTube. Um, there's another version of it in the playlist of the same song that has some kind of cheesy uh, uh, instrumental parts that were composed for it. I don't know why they did that. I'm playing from the recording that I've heard um, that is not on YouTube uh, of Fatiha Ahmed singing it. So here is the tonic. And there's the mustaar. Mustaar. One, two, three, three, five. Flat eight. So we have the taste of nahawan nahawan. Back to the five. And then Nahawan Nahawan on three. Let me actually um, do it with the chart here so you can see using the same chart. We're starting with the. Uh, this gems haramu nahawan hamin ni wo hanahawan mustar haramu hamin ni nahawan mustar genum then we're using the upper rust genum maleha back to nahawan zalamu ni haramu hamin so far, so that's the chorus. We're using this ah uh, fifth scale degree and the nahawan and ah uh, upper rust ah uh, tasting that sixth tonicization and then back to mustar. So then the verse la da 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 emphasizing that fifth scale degree da 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 da. أحبها وتحبيني going to the rusts. So the rust on six is the first thing we go to in the verse. This is why it's like the same maqam as maqam sika. We had the nahawan, the upper rust, this fifth scale degree, no hijaz. The only thing that distinguishes it from sika is that second scale degree. So this is the only song I know that ends in musta'ar, but the pathways are really the Sika pathways. Upper rust, 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 upper rust. Ah, la da 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 da, fifth scale degree. Uh, what are the words there? Um, da, nar, 
Five naru fin and nishtin. Naru fin nahawanda. Fifth scale degree. Naru fin and nishtin. Dait upper rust. Dait ali nahawan nishtiki haramu hamin. Haramu aminni u haramuni Haramu aminni u haramuni Genum aleha u zalamuni Haramu aminni La da 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 Second verse, same melody. I'm just gonna use my finger and and illustrate it. La da 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 da. Sahar al-layali u hadini. La da 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 da. Sahar al-layali hadini. La na 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 da. Shattid fu'adi u'zillini La-ra-ra-ra-ram Shattid fu'adi u'zillini La-ra-ra-ra-da Ahnu laha fi wahdi tina hawan Ahnu laha fi wahdi tina ويبكي بكاها العلتي حرموها مني مستعان حرموها مني وحرموني جانم عليها وظلموني حرموها مني All right. Um, so I really appreciate you sticking with me all this time. Uh, thanks again to my Patreon supporters. I hope you, whoever is out there not supporting me on Patreon, but enjoying these lessons, will consider doing so. Uh, check the link below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share these videos. And thanks for those who are already doing that. And I'm going to finish again with a little bit of mus musta'ar tinged uh, maqam sika. Maqam musta'ar, we can call it. It's really, again, all within the Huzam family. Um, this, uh, just using this musta'ar and nahwan pathway a little bit more. So repeat after me. Yanin, 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 Yalini, 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 Yeah, 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 yeah.
This is the Jihadka melody within Rust. Yeah, not Mustahar. I ended with the Sika Jones. I'll play you out.